We are Joy and Jason. On our last video, we raced Mine Hill and Joy won the female category, and Jason sadly crashed out. Today, we're going to ride the media route of the Highlands Grand Fondo. Highlands is a road fondo with a segment race competition. We signed up for the Medio route, which is about 62 miles with over 5,000 feet of climbing. And instead of riding it together, we actually have a good group of friends riding with us. We're here at a Holiday Inn Express in New Jersey because tomorrow we're going to be doing the Highlands Fondo. It was an hour and a half drive here, and the reason why we had to stay in the hotel is because uh, it's an early morning. I say an early morning start. It's at 7.30. Really, we don't want to get up at 2 o'clock in the morning to drive here an hour and a half uh, on t in time for the start. So we decided that uh, staying at a hotel close to the starting line um, is, probably, is probably the best bet. This is our first Grand Fondo that we've ever done on a road bike and uh it'll, it's so it's pretty much similar to the gravel fondos that we've been doing which has time segments and the medio course has three time segments my plan is to pretty much uh just do threshold or slightly above threshold uh for the segments and maybe going a little harder on the little pitches depending on how steep they are and uh, take it from there. Hopefully I could get in a good group and get some sort of drafting uh, advantage from that. Um, I don't really have much of a plan for tomorrow other than to try to finish the ride. Um, I'm still recovering from the crash I had at Mine Hill and um, st still have the road rash, which shouldn't really affect my riding, um, but it's there and, you know, kind of bothersome. And uh, some sort of a hip injury that I have, it's, it's actually like a, uh, like a muscle spasm in my glute um, that won't go away. Um, I don't feel it that much when I'm riding, um, but I feel it off the bike mainly. And, uh, but I do feel it a, sometimes a little bit when I'm riding. So um, uh, I haven't done any rides that were particularly hard between um, last Sunday and, and now. So I don't really know what every, what the body's gonna feel like when I try to go, you know, threshold or, or above. Uh, so I'm just gonna have to test out tomorrow. And, um, you know, on the first segment, just, probably ride at threshold, see how that feels. And if, if I can't ride that hard, then I might just, you know, just try to ride the rest of the, the Fondo just to finish it. Um, I'd like to, to go for it on the segments, but I'm gonna have to just take whatever my body's given me. There were three time segments for the Medio route. The first one was a moderate climb of about four and a half miles. The second one was a five and a half mile stretch of rolling terrain, and the third one was a two mile segment starting with a moderately steep climb and ending with a downhill. During the week leading up to Highlands, I was limping around, struggling to go up and down stairs without using the railing and dreading the shower. However, I was able to do some short, easy rides on the trainer with only mild pain in my hip. So I took it day by day and didn't rule out the possibility of riding the Fondo, although at the beginning of the week it seemed like a long shot. The morning of the event, my hip wasn't feeling particularly good. It was a little worse than the day before. And once we got to the venue and I started my warm-up, my hip felt stiff and slightly painful, and my pedal stroke didn't feel smooth. I was hoping it would loosen up and feel better after riding for a while, but I knew in the back of my mind that this would likely be a long, tough day, and that the logical decision would be to not ride the Fondo. But I was stubborn. I really wanted to complete this event, especially because I didn't complete the Mine Hill race, so I pushed on.
We rode with a good group, including our friend Sandy and some of her teammates. The group stuck together throughout most of the route, aside from the climbing segments where everyone did their own thing and regrouped afterward. Sandy quickly jumped on the wheel of a train of riders, but I was too slow to react to what was happening. I wound up having to crank up the power to close the gap in between us, but they were too fast, so I settled in on my own hard effort. Eventually, I saw Sandy up ahead, but then got caught behind a big group that I couldn't get around. It was hard to get around them because the road is also open to traffic, so going in the opposite lane would be a dangerous maneuver. I waited until there was an opening and then slotted through. As soon as we started the first segment, I could tell this wasn't going to be a good day from a racing perspective. I struggled to turn my legs over and tempo power was about all I could manage to produce. I tried to follow Joy but just couldn't keep up. After a few minutes I threw in the towel on the segment competition and contemplated whether or not I would continue riding. After that, I slipped in and out of the slipstream of other riders ahead of me to slingshot myself forward. It still wasn't enough, but I finished strong at 19 minutes and 49 seconds.
At the end of segment one, I rejoined the group, who was kindly waiting for me and anyone else who was lacking behind. I still didn't want to give up on the ride entirely, so I kept riding with the group and stayed mostly at the back to give myself recovery and save my legs for any hills. Not so great. You guys go ahead. I... Yeah, I just slid out on the gravel. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue or not. So you guys just go ahead. Thanks for waiting, though. We enjoyed the flow of the roads until we approached the second segment where drafting provided a huge advantage. Ready? We discussed our plan and Jordan, one of the guys in our group, suggested doing 30 second pulls. So as I rode over the timing mat, I started the first pull. After riding easy with the group for several miles, my hips started to loosen up and feel slightly better. On the second segment, the group decided to work together as a team. Since it was on flatter terrain, we could really benefit from the drafting effect. The group formed a pace line with 30 second pulls at the front. Eventually, we got ourselves organized before we started gaining speed. This group effort was a good learning experience for me as well. I now have a better idea of how drafting works in a group. Obviously the further back you are from the front, the greater draft you get, but when you're the person at the back, you have to be careful not to lose the wheel of the rider in front of you. Because if you slip off the back, you'll have to accelerate pretty hard to close the gap between yourself and the fast moving group in front of you. I also learned that when the rider in front of you is taking their pull and you're second in line, you can't just chill. You have to go fairly hard to stay on their wheel since you're only getting the draft from that one person who happens to be going very hard. Uh, legs are a little loosened up now. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't feel great, but better than before. Woke up the legs there. So Jordan and I, he timed our segment to you, he just told me. He said because we had a group, it's two minutes faster than we did last year. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, see, that worked perfectly for me because I don't really have, I'm not I'm not ready to like go full send on my own on today. Yeah, but so like I can't. Guys, you're still fast, so yeah. put in an effort for the group. And not... Yeah, so at least, I feel like I did something, but uh, yeah, 
Yeah. Then the third segment was a short two mile segment that started out as a climb and ended with a descent. I was glad it was a short segment because prior to that were a series of short steep climbs before hitting the start. As usual, anxiety hit when there was an exposed sunny section up on the hill, but I mustered up the courage to push on and not let the negative thoughts creep in. I knew I had it in me after my mine hill win. I just have to trust my body and my training. By the time we reached segment three, my hip had loosened up again, so I decided to give it a good effort and see what would happen. I started a little behind Joy and used her as a carrot to chase. I wasn't quite able to close the gap, but stayed at roughly the same pace as her. Unlike the first segment, I was able to get my power closer to threshold this time, with a few spikes at the end of the segment. On your left.
My time for the segment was a little under 10 minutes, and this is definitely not the best power I could normally do for that duration. But it's the best that I could expect from myself on the day, and at that point in the ride. Great job, honey. Thanks, you too. I was trying to like use you as a, as a, I mean, I, I wasn't really that close behind you, but I was like trying to use you as an incentive to like go faster. Oh my gosh, I was actually your carrot for this for once. I think I actually did okay on that one, cons all things considered. Yeah, considering that it was a short climb and then descending. I did a good job of uh, saving the power for the right spots. The third and final segment was a relatively good note to end the ride on, and there was an aid station yeah, shortly after it, but I still had to last for another 15 miles from the aid station to the finish line. I was thrilled to have completed the ride and relieved at the same time, but there was a part of me that didn't want to get off the bike because I knew that's when the pain and stiffness would really set in. Just as expected, my limp was worse than before, and walking around was a chore. But you know what? That's what I get for being stubborn about riding the Fondo even though my body was telling me not to. 626, Joy Perez from Danbury, Connecticut. 179, Daniel Wilson. Montreal. All in all, I still consider the Highlands Fondo to be a good experience. It was the first time that Joy and I got to ride in a group for about 62 miles, and our group was strong and fun to ride with. We made some new friends, and I got to witness another great performance from Joy as she continues to progress with her fitness and racing ability. That means a lot to me, and I'm glad to see it firsthand. If I hadn't been there, I would have heard about how the day went, but I would not have experienced it, and I would not have those memories to take with me. The physical pain was temporary, but the memories will be permanent. Overall, it was a great experience riding with a group and working as a team. However, the temperature did creep in a bit and I was eager to finish as we were pressed for time. After we finished and had a small meal, I was curious to know where I stood on the segments. I looked up the results and was amazed that I came in third in my age group and 10th female out of 32 female participants. Of course, I was elated, thrilled, and excited as this was my first road fondo. It made it even more worthwhile to ride with a great group of people. Because if it weren't for our teamwork, I don't think I would have made it on the podium. Thank you to the race organizers for making this event possible. 
I can't tell you how much fun this was to do, and now we've caught the Fondo bug. We will be doing the Vermont Grand Fondo next to test our legs on two mountain gaps. So we'll see where this fitness will take me. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please like and consider subscribing to our channel. Until next time, enjoy your rides.